Okay, so you ready for a HIIT workout with me? Because I have got the most incredible workout that we are going to do together now. This suits every single fitness level, even the ducks want to join in. Um, we're going to be toning all over, we're going to be doing HIIT training. You are going to love it, you are going to feel amazing. What is important though, do make sure you've warmed up first. Even if you press pause for a minute, march on the spot or swim around the lake like the ducks are doing, as long as you've warmed up, then I'm ready to start getting you super fit. Okay, so the workout's gonna start in five seconds. Remember, it is really important. Do make sure you have warmed up for me. We're gonna start with doing 100 reps, and you've got two options here. So if you're a complete beginner, stick with me on the left. If you are um, a fitness bunny, or you want the challenge, then stick with me on the right. Both of these are super effective. Remember, it's important to work to your fitness level. Make sure with both of them that you land the feet nice and softly, so we're just doing 100 reps. So this is part of the high intensity. This is about getting that heart rate up. So if you're doing the jogging on the spot, aim to get the knees nice and high for me. You're doing really well and really pump through the arms. If you're doing it on the left, then what's really good, you can focus on keeping those abs pulled in really tight. Okay, that's good. Let's just keep that going. So 100 reps. Nearly done on this one. Let's go. Keep those feet going. Okay. All right. So the next exercise that we're going to do this time, I'm going to show you again two options on here. So follow me on the right for the more challenging, left slightly easier. Reach up and then we're going to jump back, jump the feet out, jump back and then in. If you want to take the low impact, do it on the left. Jump back or walk back, sorry, tap the feet out and then come straight back up to standing. You're just doing six repetitions. So basically, they're the same. One has the jump, one doesn't. This, again, is full body toning. It's going to get the heart rate up. You're working your upper body, you're working your abs and your lower body. Okay, so the next move we're going to come into doing is where we're going to work the outside of the thighs and take it to a squat. So everyone can do this. We're just doing 30 repetitions. You can add some arms as well if you want to work a little bit harder. So it's a tiny squat and then a lift out to the side. So squat and then lift. What you want to do is aim to get that leg as high as you can each time. The benefit here, you're working both legs. You work the standing leg you're squatting on, then also you work the leg that you're lifting on. So we're engaging like your abductors, which is the big outer thigh muscle. We're also working through the booty. And as you know, as I say in all these routines, what I like to do is combine lots of different planes of movement. So this one here is a lateral move. So it means we're just taking the body from side to side, whoops, and losing my balance. So it's good for your balance, this one as well. That's good, so we just keep that going. A few more, well done. Okay, perfect, last one. Okay, to lie, one more. All right, so next one that we're going to do, this time now, you're going to come into a standing position, nice and straight, and we are gonna do a curtsy. We're doing 20 of these. What I want you to do is, as you curtsy down, press tight between the palms, and what you'll feel, you'll feel your bust a lift as you do this, because we're engaging with Cooper's ligament, so squeeze as tight as you can, and then you release. So keep doing that. Aim to keep that upper body nice and straight for me, so you're stepping the leg out to the side and behind. So on here, we're working near enough every muscle group, and again, we're taking a little bit to a lateral movement, so it just means we're engaging lots of extra muscles. That's it, press tight, bend low. All right, okay, that's good. So the next exercise, this time now, we are gonna to come to do um, a higher intensity one. We're gonna get that heart rate back up. So we're doing three squats and then add a jump. Now, if you don't want to do the jump, just stay doing the squat for me. You're doing 10 reps. So again, on this one for a beginner, just literally stay in the squat, don't do the jump keeping that going. And this one here is going to get that heart rate up, plus we're toning those big muscle groups. That's good. And really aim to jump as high as you can. Land softly. So it's three pulses and then a jump. That's good. Okay, well done. So the next exercise now, we're going to come down onto the ground. And this time now, we're going to be working through your abs and we're working through the leg, even through the arm because you're having to use your upper body strength for this. Have your leg out to the side and now you're going to kick the leg in front. You're going to do 10 repetitions for me. Draw the leg in front and back. And what is important, don't rock the upper body. Keep it really still for me. And you're going to do that by engaging those tummy muscles. So we kick that leg in front and take it back in front and back. 
think that's good. Draw that in front and back. So this time now, before we do the other side, I want you now to kneel back and then you're just going to take your hand round to reach the outside of your trainer. We we'll just do 10 repetitions, so you lean slightly back. So what we're doing now, we're working into the waist muscle. If you find that too hard, you could just do it in a normal seated position. Just sit and just aim to touch either side of the ground. Okay, let's now come back into, this time now, we're going to work on doing the other side. So take your time to come into position. We've got that leg up, and let's go for 10 repetitions. So you just kick that leg in front and back. Keep that upper body nice and solid for me. So imagine your elbow that's pointing up isn't moving. Keep it as still as you can. Tummy is tight and you're aiming to keep that heel in line with the hip. Okay, so the next move we're going to do, we've got two options here. We're going to do 20. So you're in a plank and you're doing either 20 running knees. I'm doing on the bottom or if you want to make it a little bit easier, follow me on the top where you're just doing 20 toe taps. Keep the tummy really tight. Okay, well done. Okay, so that was round one done. What is really important is make sure if you need some, grab some water. You can even just press pause 20 seconds, get your breath back, because we're gonna do a second round. Because after all, it's a challenge that times us. Look, even they wanna do a second round. Okay, so let's do it all again. And remember, we're gonna start with the first move. So we're gonna go straight back in to doing those 100 reps for those high knees. Um, and again, you might find you're a little bit more tired on the second round, so you could then follow me on the left. But remember, with exercise, the most important thing is you've always got to challenge yourself because that's when your body gets fitter and stronger. Okay, that's good. So let's keep going, so either one, Always just make sure that you land nice and softly on the heels. If you're doing it on the left, then it's a good opportunity to focus on those abs and really marching with good posture. If you're following me on the right, then really get those knees nice and high. Work through with the arms as well. It's good, keeping that going. It's good. Keep thinking of all those benefits. Imagine that I'm there with you training. We would definitely do those full 100 reps. All right, let's keep going. All right, fantastic. Okay, so your next exercise we're gonna get ready to come into is we're gonna focus on reaching up nice and high to start with. So you're gonna reach up, then you come down. You can either jump the legs back, then you jump out, jump in, and then reach high again. If you want to take it low impact, follow me on the left, step it back, out to the side, out to the side, and then come back up to standing. So you step out, out, Draw the feet in and then reach up nice and high. You're just doing six repetitions. Again, this one here is a full body toner. You're working everywhere. It's also really good for your flexibility. Okay, so the next exercise on this one, we're going to work on doing those squats and side lifts. So we're doing 30 repetitions. So you squat and then lift to the side. Squat and lift to the side. You can um, use your arms as well. So this one is good for helping to strengthen your lower body, it's gonna to tone you, it's gonna really help lift the booty, it's great for trimming down and toning down those thighs, and it's a good calorie burner as well because again, we're working so many muscle groups, so keep thinking of these benefits. And trust me, this is the only way to get healthy and fit, it's none of this nonsense with these tea bags, slimming, pills, tablets, it's never the way to do it. Your body is about being healthy and fit and the only way you can do that is by exercising. And plus, it's the one thing that's gonna make you are gonna feel amazing after these workouts. Okay, that's good, so just let's keep going. Squat low and lift. All right, brilliant. So, next exercise we're gonna do, this time we're gonna come into that standing position, nice up body straight. Press your palms together and let's go for doing 20 repetitions. So we're doing that nice curtsy and as you curtsy down, squeeze tight through those palms. So we're helping to lift the bust on this exercise as well. Aim to keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight so you step that leg out wide behind you. So you're taking it, you're kind of crossing it over the other leg. That's good. So this one here is great for working the inner thighs, outer thighs, your bottom. It's good for your abs. It's also really good for lifting the bust. Okay, well done. Let's just keep going. All right, so the next exercise for this one on here. Again, we're going to get ready to take it slightly up to that high intensity. So we're going to go for three pulses. And now you just 
come up to a jump. So it's three deep pulses, then jump, land low. You're doing 10 repetitions. If you don't want to do the jump, take out the jump and just carry on pulsing those squats like I'm doing there. But you can add that jump if you want to. That will really get the heart rate up. That is part of the HIT training. This is the higher intensity part of it. And just lift, that's good. So add that reel and really aim to jump as high as you can. <clears throat> Okay, so next exercise, come down onto the ground. So you're going to come down onto one side, aim to have your hand directly underneath your shoulder. Then you're going to take the other arm up so it's bent. Now lift that leg to hip height, then you draw it in front. You're just doing 10 of these. And what's important, imagine you've got like a sheet of glass in front of your upper body, so you don't want to bend forwards. You've got to keep that as straight as you can. That means then you're really engaging those core abdominal muscles. Plus we're really working through the bottom and the thigh as we're using that hip joint to lift and extend that leg in front. Okay, so we're now going to work into the waist. So coming into a kneeling position, tummy tight, lean back slightly, take one hand round on this. So you're just going from side to side, reach up round and come back. So this one here, we're going to work into the waist. This is going to give you that narrow waist. We're creating those curves. Reach it round, come back to the center. Let's go from side to side. Okay, let's now come over onto the other side. So remember, have your hand directly underneath your shoulder, elbow pointing up, and now we're going to kick that leg in front. So aim to get that heel out as far in front as you can. This will also develop your hamstring flexibility. We're just doing 10 reps. Remember, keep that upper body as straight as you can for me. Lift that in front and back. All right, well done. So your next move, remember you've got two options here. We're gonna do those running knees. You can either do it on the bottom there, 20. They're a lot harder. You keep the tummy tight or do those toe taps. Again, that's still hard. You're gonna be working upper body and you have done amazingly well today because that was a tough workout. Okay, that is the workout complete, well done. So let's come up, we're gonna do some stretching. So let's come straight into that first stretch. We're gonna go for doing that calf stretch. What I want you to do is take that one foot behind, have those tummy muscles tight, hands on that bent leg in front. Now what you want to do is keep this heel down. This is where I want you to be feeling that, all through that calf muscle. We're gonna hold it there for 10 seconds. That's especially important when we do so many of the high knees. If you can't feel it, just lean into it a little bit further. Okay, that's good. Now what we're gonna do, let's just change to the other leg. So we're gonna bring that in front. Let's take that other leg behind, holding that down. And again, just think when you're stretching, it's really important you feel that stretch in that area. And it should feel like a mild discomfort. It shouldn't feel painful, but you should be aware of feeling that stretch. So you're feeling that in the calf muscle. Okay, so the next stretch we're gonna do, we're now gonna stretch those hamstrings. So to do this, we're gonna take one leg in front, hands are on the bent leg, this one, stick the bottom in the air and feel that stretch all running through the back of the upper thigh, holding that there and really tilt the pelvic area up. So we're getting that stretch because it's drawing from here to here. So you really wanna stretch that. Okay, let's now take that to the other leg, bring it in front. Heel up, feel that stretch. So we wanna feel this in the hamstring, this area here. Okay, that's good. Well done for today's workout. That's a really tough one. You know, but like I say to you in all my workouts, what I really like to focus on doing is work lots of different directions because the body moves in three different planes of direction. Okay, I'm risking a lot here, balance. Right next to the edge of a lake. Fingers crossed, we can do this. Okay, so this one, quad stretch, feel that down the front of your thigh. So as I was saying, our body moves forwards, it moves sideways and rotationally, and that's where it's really important when we're toning, we wanna work all those ranges of movement. That's how we can get that really nice, tight toned body. Let's now take that to the other leg. So you can use a wall or a chair here for balance. Just feel that down the front of the thigh. Okay, that's good. And let's now do a couple of upper body stretches. So we're just gonna take those arms in front. Just imagine we're just hugging a big beach ball. Mm, that's good. Feel this all through the top of the back. Then we're gonna do the opposite afterwards. Let's now 
bring the arms behind, lift up the chest. So we wanna feel that through this area here. Bring that there. And then we will also do tricep stretch. So you're just gonna take one arm up, bring it behind. So you're trying to get the fingertips to the shoulder blades. Feeling this through the back of the upper arm. Let's do the same on the other side. And also what's good with stretching, helps reduce muscle soreness, but sometimes I think it's quite nice the following day to feel where you've worked. But it also, more importantly, it realigns your body. Now, the other thing that you need to do is make sure you drink plenty of water. And well done for today's workout. Um, if you've got any comments, do let me know. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Any feedback is brilliant. Um, and don't forget to put hashtag done. Lucy squad and I'll see you tomorrow for a toning workout. If you guys are following my workouts, I've now put it together in an ebook because in my ebook, then I can cover nutrition as well. And it's got you video links because the results, I cannot tell you that you guys have been sending in have been utterly amazing. And I think the reason being is these workouts are so easy to stick to because you can do them at home. They are just really super short, but they are super sculpting, super toning. They burn loads of calories. And what you're telling me is that you're enjoying working out for the first time ever and you know what the brilliant thing there is you are not going to yo-yo up and down your weight is then going to you are going to be able to maintain a healthy weight um, so in the book it has 26 different workouts you've got photos before and afters photos of the exercises you've also got video links so you can click straight onto a video plus there is a 14 day healthy eating plan along with a shopping list and lots, lots more. Um, and it is available now on my website and it is ideal for absolutely everyone. So if you're a complete beginner and you wanna just learn how to be fit and healthy for the rest of your life, to even if you're a fitness bunny, then this book is ideal because I also have different variations for different fitness levels and it is available on my website, which is lwrfitness.com.